Welcome to episode 892 of Dumb Shit Conservatives Are Mad About. Today, they're outraged at fellow conservative Matt Walsh for daring to say the most obvious thing ever. And I really don't think that he understood just how deranged his audience was because it's very clear he did not expect this much pushback. And to be clear, when I say pushback, I'm not just talking about Twitter randos that follow him attacking him. I'm talking about a literal member of Congress joining the mob to dunk on Matt Walsh for saying the most obvious thing ever. So without further ado, here's the tweet that set them off. Quote, raw milk is disgusting. We live in a first world civilized society and people are actively choosing to consume milk riddled with E. coli and listeria. Pasteurization is not some evil sorcery. It just kills the dangerous bacteria, you morons. That's the tweet that set them off. And look, as much as it pains me to say this, Matt Walsh is correct about this. I mean, <laughs> obviously, right? And look, five years ago, this wouldn't even be controversial, but since people in this country have grown increasingly conspiratorial about everything from chemtrails to vaccines, it was only a matter of time before that mindset expanded to other areas as well. And now it's to the point where people are questioning basic public health recommendations that we've all followed for all of our lives. You know, today it's pasteurized milk, tomorrow it might be something else. They might reject germ theory, who knows where this is gonna go, but it's incredibly dangerous. And part of this stems from stupidity for sure, but it's also due to a lack of trust in government and institutions. And I'm sympathetic towards that position because skepticism towards the government is necessary since they've lied to us so many times about so many things. But that skepticism has now morphed into outright contrarianism to the point where they just deliberately do the opposite of what government tells them to do because they think that automatically makes what they're doing correct. So if the FDA recommends you only drink pasteurized milk, then they assume they should do the opposite and drink unpasteurized milk, not only because that's safer, but actually good. I mean, it's just not a very healthy way of thinking. And just because you're skeptical of what the government is saying doesn't automatically make it right. The problem here is that these people fundamentally misunderstand the role of government and why they lied to us about certain things in the first place. And I think that the Cavernacle put it best when he made a video about this back in June. Yes, people have a right, especially Americans, to be skeptical of the food they eat and how much absolute garbage is put in it and how there's a lack of regulations because of corporate influence on the government. It doesn't mean you should go out seeking stuff that is far riskier to consume just because it hasn't gone through the government regulation and you think somehow that might be better. People don't have the critical thinking skills. They're not taught to have them in school because sadly most people's brains don't work like that as adults. They can't believe both things. It's either the government is designing food for profit, therefore the government is bad, big dairy is bad, and they're selling me crap just for money because, I don't know, let's say in this instance because they think pasteurizing the milk is somehow cheaper or something, or there's some financial benefit to do this and that's why they're doing it and that's why the government are lying to you. They're lying to you for profit. And again, it goes with the vaccine things. When you see the absurd profits of pharmaceutical companies, you start thinking, oh, well, they must start epidemics to solve them just to make loads of money. Not realizing that the world is a complicated place and many things come into play that yes, pharmaceutical companies can be like literally evil when I believe they are at the same time in terms of the global economy and in terms of competing businesses under capitalism, creating something like a vaccine that doesn't work or has absolutely terrible side effects is not in the financial best interest of the capitalist class so you can trust in that greed that they probably won't do that sometimes they will do that but you have to appreciate that fact but that is hard for most people that's how people go down conspiracy theory rabbit holes and because we don't have a trust in the institutions anymore because of things like capitalism we see how much capitalism and corporations control our government we feel like we cannot trust any of them yeah, and he's exactly correct, which is usually the case when it comes to the cavernacle. Unless we're talking about his opinion on video games and Dark Souls, then he's always wrong. But that's a different story for a different day. I will link you to that video that he posted down below um, if you really want to go safely down the raw milk rabbit hole because it is so much deeper than you realize. And I had no idea that this was a thing until I watched that video. But to his point, people have a difficult time figuring out what evidence to accept because their standard for evidence is very low 
because a lot of us don't know any better. We're not experts on everything. So if somebody on TikTok who claims to be a dietitian and a wellness expert that looks healthy tells you to do something, well, you might want to listen to them just because it seems legit and they look legit, but really you have no way of knowing whether or not what they're telling you is complete bullshit, right? So most people will hear that and they'll just choose to believe it or not believe it. But the problem is that a lot of people don't take the time to responsibly research what these people are saying that they're listening to. And to put it as cynically as possible for the people who are skeptical about raw milk, the government doesn't want you to be sick, right? The government does not want you to be sick from COVID or from listeria. This is why they recommend vaccinations. This is why they tell you to not drink unpasteurized milk. And the reason why it's cynical is because they want you to be healthy so you can work, right? It's in the interest of the capitalist class to have a population that is healthy and not sick, because if they're sick, they can't work. The economy grinds to a halt. So if you don't trust the government, think of it in those terms, right? But basic public health recommendations are not a conspiracy. We learned a very long time ago that there are dangers associated with drinking raw milk. In fact, a couple of weeks after Cab posted that video in June, a salmonella outbreak was linked to a farm in Fresno, California that sells raw milk. 22 people got so sick that they were hospitalized, including a nine-year-old boy who was given raw milk by his mother. And we're really only seeing the tip of the iceberg because as Dr. Karen Landman of Vox explains, raw milk sales have exploded and have gone up by 65% since this trend got popular among the online right and was pushed by so-called wellness influencers on TikTok who tout the benefits of drinking raw milk. But these claims that they're making are either false or misleading. For example, raw milk evangelists will tout the additional vitamins that you get from drinking unpasteurized milk. But as Dr. Karen Lamman explains in that article, you know, yes, it's true that pasteurizing milk does lead to a minor decrease in vitamins like vitamin C, for example. The problem is that milk was never a good source of vitamin C in the first place. And if you want more vitamin C, there's far more less risky ways to get more vitamin C. So I say all this to say, please don't drink raw milk, it's dangerous. And I'm telling you all of this now before I show you the pushback Matt, Matt Walsh received. So that way you are not persuaded by these bogus claims that these unhinged idiots, you know, are going to make. Not to say that my audience wouldn't know, but you know, if you're just somebody who doesn't watch the Humanist Report, uh, bad decision, you should subscribe. But if you don't know any better and you haven't seen me debunking these conspiracy theories before, you might not know any better. So if you don't know any better, trust me, everything you're about to see from these people is bullshit. But without further ado, here's how they responded to Matt Walsh when he told them to not drink raw milk. Of course, there was anti-Semitism because why wouldn't there be? Quote, I'll keep doing the opposite of whatever the Rothschilds forced everyone to do to their food. This person with a doctor in this title who pays for Twitter says, raw milk is good and healthy. Cheers. Sounds legit. Enjoy the salmonella, bud. You've been convinced of this by the same experts who have been wrong about every other issue they weigh in on. This person says, you mean the stuff we were consuming for thousands of years before you came around and said it was scary. Right. And then we realized why people were getting randomly sick for thousands of years and decided to stop letting that happen once we learned that pasteurizing milk stops this. This person basically said the same thing, but shared an AI generated image of a caveman drinking raw milk to bolster his argument, I guess. But I mean, the caveman has two thumbs and uh, maybe he got that from drinking raw milk. So you've been warned. This person says, this is where Matt Walsh is wrong. Raw milk, if done properly, is safe and healthier than processed milk except the way to do it properly is to boil it and kill the germs. So no, it can't be done properly. Uh, this person says, I've been drinking raw milk for the last three years across three different states, Washington, Utah, and Arizona. It's a vastly superior product to the normal store-bought stuff. And uh, get this, sitting Republican lawmaker Thomas Massey chimed in saying, bad take. I've consumed raw milk almost every day for over two years. It's done wonders for my health and it's delicious. Pasteurization and homogenization can kill germs, but they both diminish the health benefits of the milk. In any case, it's everyone's right to consume it. And for those who weren't aware of this, Thomas Massey was a pretty big raw milk guy before this, which sounds like a weird statement to say. But uh, just to show you what I mean, on June 1st, he tweeted a picture of some raw milk in his fridge with the hashtag, come and take it. <laughs> so. I've got to say, it's already weird enough 
that he's drinking raw milk and irresponsibly encouraging his followers to do the same. But to make your love of raw milk, your entire personality is just so extra. Like I'm old enough to remember a time when people wouldn't base their entire identities off of the weird shit that they do. I mean, if you want to take horse paste and, you know, shit out half your intestines, that's fine. But keep that shit to yourself, man. But, you know, the story doesn't end here because Matt Walsh was seemingly taken aback by the response from the audience that he cultivated, by the way. And he decided to double down and argue with them. So he responded to somebody making the argument others made that humans did this forever until relatively recently. And he replied saying, this is 85 IQ logic, truly stupid. Many, many basic hygiene and sanitation practices were not invented until the last century or so. Surgeons didn't even start washing their hands until the 1870s. People died all the time from preventable germs and bacteria for thousands of years. Yeah, and this is obvious. Uh, somebody also thought that they were making a good point by saying that human breast milk isn't pasteurized, to which he responded saying, humans are not farm animals. They don't live in barns. They don't lie around in dirt and shit all day. Do I need to continue listing differences between human beings and livestock, or is that enough? You can tell that he's getting frustrated here. Now, somebody else said, if raw milk is so inherently dangerous, why doesn't it kill baby calves? My IQ is 160, by the way. <laughs> I can't believe they said that. He, res he responded to that saying, uh, that's like asking why you can't eat raw poultry since coyotes do. There is no way you have a 160 IQ with reasoning like that. And I'm sure that he just pissed off the other half of his audience who thinks that it's perfectly reasonable to eat raw meat all the time. Now, a self-proclaimed health nut and conspiracy theorist chimed in saying, Matt, you published articles telling people to get the COVID shots that you received and you were wrong. And he responded to that saying, I never once wrote any article pushing the COVID shot or saying that I'd gotten it myself. It's really not that serious. No need to stoop this low. By the way, the anti-vax to raw milk pipeline is probably a thing that happens. Uh, but anyway, somebody responded to that with a this shoe of an article that he tweeted, which encourages people to take the COVID-19 vaccines. But he pointed out that he actually didn't write that article and was just sharing an article that somebody else had written. But I think that that response is indicative of a deeper issue here. Rather than in insisting that he was actually right about the COVID-19 vaccines and they were wrong and still are wrong. Instead, he's choosing to run away from that position and pretend like he didn't tepidly encourage people to take the vaccines because the right has just collectively agreed that vaccines are bad. And if you say that they're good, then I guess you're a traitor to them. So he's basically cowering in fear to his audience. But I mean, what if raw milk becomes a bigger thing on the right in a couple of years. And every right winger now is saying, actually, you have to drink raw milk. Otherwise, you're not a real right winger. You're a sellout or they're going to attack you for it. You know, if that becomes an unpopular opinion in a couple of years, will he still say it? I mean, it's a, it's a genuine question. And this is part of the problem, Matt. This is why conspiracy theorists are flocking to your channel like flies on shit. It's because rather than debunking their bullshit, I mean... You coddle them. You try to placate them. Just tell them the truth. Tell them that they're wrong. And you might be thinking, well, Mike, isn't he already doing this with regard to raw milk? So give him some credit, right? To that, I say, uh, first and foremost, no, we never have to hand it to Matt Walsh for any reason ever. But second of all, take a guess as to how you think this saga ended. Do you think that he was as vociferous in his defense of pasteurized milk by the end of this? Not really, I would argue, because he tried to smooth things over and he tried to, you know, post a little bit of self-deprecating humor about this after realizing how pissed they were. But um, it didn't go too well. So let me show you what I mean. He tweeted, I've discovered that passions are quite high around the topic of milk. Now just wait till you hear my take on orange juice. I have many scandalous beverage related opinions. Ooh, can't wait to hear that. Uh, he also said, am I really trending over the raw milk thing? Come on, guys. There's no way my milk opinions qualify as one of the top 20 most interesting things happening in the world today. Top 100, maybe. And finally, he joked about himself being a sort of anti raw milk Karen by tweeting a picture of milk and saying at the grocery store conducting my weekly milk surveillance if i see any gross raw milk for sale i immediately call the police and somebody responded to that saying dude got a shit take roasted by half the internet and has to cope with comedy now so needless to say they are fucking pissed and they will never forgive him for daring to say that raw milk is dangerous listen this is why you don't pander to insane people otherwise this is the kind of following you cultivate 
let this be a lesson for anyone else who wants to become a political commentator who has a YouTube channel. If you do not try to control, you know, the audience that you are curating, they will control you at some point. You know, if you let these conspiracy theories run amok in your community, common sense takes become too controversial and you can't let that happen. But one last thing that I will say about this is that I kind of feel like this is something that Elon Musk would be into. And I have no evidence that that's the case, but it's just something that I, I feel you would be into. Um, so we'll see. But in the end, there's only so much that you can do to inform people and make them aware of what is or isn't in their best interest. And if they still refuse to listen, all we can do is our best. And at least we could say we tried, right? But I'm to the point where I'm not going to waste my breath arguing with these people again and again and again because I tried to convince people that the COVID vaccines were good, especially when they were available and free and people were dying when they didn't need to. And, you know, I got attacked for it. A lot of people got attacked for it for trying to do what's in their best interest. So I'll always give you the facts and debunk these conspiracy theories. But if you want to be dumb and you want to drink raw milk and reject vaccines, I have nothing else to say to you. I'm not going to try to convince you otherwise, but I will leave you with these wise words from comedian Scott Sice. I'm not going to get the vaccine, then die. What do we do, argue with you? I'm not on the debate team. This isn't mock trial. Aren't you worried about the side effects? I'm worried about the disease. Well, they're tracking you through the microchip. They're tracking you through the phone you're watching this on. Get the vaccine. Where there's glue, mama. you see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. Mama. My children will be like, Mama, glue, 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 glue. I turn on mama. TV, there's glue in the background. Every TV show, news media, glue, 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 gl